Well, welcome everybody to the last PD day of the year. Thank you for coming and a big thanks to all of our non-members out there. Connective do like to um, open their invite to not just their, um, their members, but also people um, outside of the industry or maybe they're looking to join as well. So big hello to all of those people. Massive thank you to all of our sponsors as well. These events obviously cannot be held um, without their support. Some of our platinum sponsors for this evening. Oh, this morning, yes. Our agenda. A lot of you will have noticed uh, we're running things just a little bit different with our networking today. You will have, um, you know, your breakfast, uh, your morning teas and lunches to catch up with the lenders. But you'll also know that you do have a lender on each of the tables. This is for some more structured networking um, during a breakout session we're going to facilitate. There will be questions on, um, on the table that you've submitted online uh, before the PD day or you're welcome to come up with your own questions um, in that session as well. First we're going to start out with a bit of an update. I know my name's up there but I'm going to invite Glenn Lees to, to join us for that. Thank you. Which hat I make the slides go? With, with that? With the arrow, yep. <laughs> Sorry, my teeth are stuck together with a minty. Uh, good morning, everyone. Thanks for making the time to, to come along. It's great to see so many of you out here. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the grand tour of Flemington as you drove in. I know I was driving for about 10 minutes to actually get to the place to park, but I finally got there and there were some helpful signs, which was great. I think it's a fantastic venue and Chantal's done a great job in getting this organised. And it's a million or billion dollar view, I suspect, looking at the land value to see the city over there. Um, I'll quickly take you through a couple of things, just um, an overview of the connective business, and I'll be around uh, for the whole session, so if you've got any questions about that, please feel free to come up and ask me. Um, first graph here is an interesting one. It's, um, it's our monthly settlements as a group, and remember, connective, we don't write one single loan. That's what all of you guys do. It's lenders and brokers that write this business. We sit in that happy position of being in the middle and seeing what's happening. So you can see last year was a great year for, for the Connective uh, family, that broader Connective community, capping off the, in December, which is the blue line at the end there, with about, I think it was about $2.2 uh, $2 billion. This year started with a bang, which is the orange line, so much so that the last two months have been record months in settlements for all Connective brokers, which is fantastic. Um, $2.425 billion in May. Uh, 2.355 in, in June, and the, the July numbers are coming through now. So that's an, a, an astonishing amount of business. Um, one of the things I, I took our staff through recently, just to give them a sense of the scale of the business, which I'd like to do this morning as well, is you can talk about you know a couple of billion here and a couple of billion there, and pretty soon you're starting to talk some large numbers. But what it actually means, so the last two months, average settlement to $2.39 billion in loans for those two months on average. Uh, the average loan size is about $395,000, so that's 6,050 loans on average each of those months. That's a lot of loans, but break it down further, say 21 business days in a month, that's 288 loans every day that get settled by all of you in the room and your, your um, colleagues around the country. On an eight hour day, that's 36 loans every hour. That's a loan every 1.6 minutes is being settled by members of the connective network. So it's, it's just an astonishing velocity of activity that's happening there and you guys are all part of that. Um, of those 6,050 loans, if you assume that there's about 1.7 people borrowers on each loan, and that's kind of a made up number, but it's about right we think, it's 10,285 Australians that you are helping with their finance and to achieve their dreams every single month. It's a, it's a huge, huge amount of work that you're putting in and it's something that you should, you should congratulate yourselves on. The mortgage broker market it represents 50% of mortgage flows around the country now. Connective sits at about 18% of that 50, so 9%. So walk down your street and every 10th or 11th house has been financed by a Connective broker. And that's something that you guys have made possible. So I reckon you give yourself a round of applause, it's a fantastic effort, well done. How do I make this work? Uh, that's, that's just the same graph really um, where you take the year by year comparison out and you can see that the, the curve is just going up. So 
It's reflective of a number of things. There's a buoyant market, it's a competitive market. People are borrowing, banks are lending, and brokers are getting greater market share, which is, I think, the greatest uh, thing to take out of that. So it's, it's a great time to be a broker, and you should all be excited by that. Our book growth, or I should say your book growth, it's, it's not our book, unfortunately, because as you can see, it's quite large. It's getting up around the $60 billion mark, and that continues to grow with that, with that pace of settlement. There's a, there's a, large, um, a large collection of, of loans in there that we're managing for you. So where's all that business going? Uh, as you can see, this is the national figures for the last 12 months showing uh, market share in percent. Westpac are a strong performer with us and always have been. And um, you have all been great supporters of Westpac. And I have to say, Westpac have been a great supporter of Connective, as has every lender on that panel that you can see. ANZ and Commonwealth Bank obviously also going well. And the usual suspects as you, as you move across the line. So it's, uh, it's great to see such strong support for all of those lenders. If you look at it in Victoria, the story's a little bit different. ANZ obviously um, making a, a run there towards the finish line, to give it a very cheesy racing analogy, given where we are. Um, and um, a few little variations are a bit further down the list. But again, Westpac, a very strong presence in Victoria. Broker distribution, this is actually where all that business is coming from. And um, I think ordinarily we've done a, a cheesy little chart, but um, Rachel's done a really nice infographic, which I think improves things, <laughs> lets you see where we're at. Um, Keep an eye on the Northern Territory, because you'll see we've had massive growth there when I show you the next slide. Uh, but WA, Queensland, really strong growth markets for us. New South Wales, Victoria, proportionally also very strong for us. If you look at the, the growth in the last six months, you can see in the Northern Territory that five of those seven have come on in the last six months, so that's great to see a bit of activity there. Victoria's been a very strong growth market for us as well, with 100 new brokers in the last six months. So. Uh, we're really pleased to see that, and it's a testament to the to the Victorian sales team and the, the customer care team here as well. So um, it's great that we've got some non-connective members here today, and I'd welcome the opportunity to talk to any of you today if you want to uh, find out and find out more about it, and if I can bore you with any other statistics, then I'll happily do that. Um, I'm going to hand back now to, to Lara to just take you over some good news for some of the people in the room. Um, thanks very much for your attention, and anything that I can help you with today, just come and ask me, and uh, thank you. Thanks again, guys. As you all know, the Australian Broking Awards are happening this Friday um, and we're very lucky to have a lot of our Connective members be nominated for some of those awards. Um, Chris Foster Ramsey, who I'm not sure if he's in the, in the room today, um, and the Australian Lending and Investment Centre. A few throughout the other states, so hopefully we'll have some positive results on, on Friday. We've also been nominated for quite a few awards um, on the same night, so fingers crossed as well. Now, the advisor runs a switching aggregator service, uh, survey with all of the brokers throughout Australia. Many brokers participate across a whole range of different aggregators in this survey, um, and it's about finding out customer satisfaction, what they're looking for, um, and you know, provide some really great, great results in, um, in, the resu in the results that they send out to us. Something that we're quite proud of, the broker satisfaction out of five, Connective of 4.3, well above the rest. What does that mean for us? We want five. 4.3 um, is terrific and it's great to see us so high on that chart, but there are still plenty more things that we can be doing to, to achieve that. That's why we're doing things like your, um, your focus groups. People would have attended those in the past. We have some more coming up, so keep an eye out for those emails. We want to hear your feedback of what we can possibly do to, to help you guys with your business. Things like filming PD days, making it easier for regional brokers to be able to get the same things that inner city people um, do have the access to. Reasons you've joined Connective. Um, part of the survey as well, the three, the three big standouts um, from the advisor was excellent software technology, solid business support, um, and fair aggregation fees. You know, all things that we pride ourselves quite highly on. We have had some big gro growth throughout our network, um, and on the back of that, we've been on a hiring spree. So you will hear a lot of new names around the office or when you call in, um, and a whole range of different people are doing doing new jobs at the moment. From the top 
left, we have Dean, who is our new software developer, helping out with Mercury 5. Frank, our CFO. Julie um, is a new EA in the office who's helping out wide Kelly's on maternity leave. Randy, uh, you will probably all would have spoken to on the help desk. Siobhan is our admin assistant. Sean is the broker relationship manager in Queensland. Um, Yudi is our senior, senior network administrator. Kieran also on the help desk, which many of you probably have spoken to. And Raul, another broker relationship manager who you probably all would have received a call for to confirm your attendance today. Mercury update. Mercury 5 is well and truly in their beta program testing phase. Um, we have a whole lot of new tabs um, opening up in the last couple of weeks. Things like our commission tabs up and running now. Um, the admin tab will be mid-August. The dashboard um, will be late August. Services tab will be around the same time at end of this month. Um, the reporting will be early September. Um, and the CRM dashboard early September. So really rolling these out one at a time so we can work out um, how things are running, get your feedback for the people that have been using the test, the Mercury 5 at the moment. Um, if you do, if you would like to be on that program, just simply submit a help desk ticket and you will have access to Mercury 5. All we ask is for your feedback um, and advising on anything that we can, we can update. Help desk satisfaction, something that's always very high. In June to Ju July, we had 2,009 tickets. 98% of that was satisfied. Industry standard 75, so for the guys to be consistently getting 98.5% 98, 98 each month, it's a real testament to that team. On the back of that as well, Connective Wiki, it's growing and growing, and many of you do use it, something that if you need quick answers on anything about compliance, about IT, about any of our ancillary products, it's all there at your fingertips. So even if you just go and have a look around this afternoon of what the Connective Wiki has in there, you'll be better off for it. Connective Home Loans, just a quick update. There has been um, a few, few changes, price reductions and things, so I wanted to run you through those really quickly. The rate, re the rate reductions on connective options, the three you fixed, reduced by 0.1. Connective solutions uh, reduced by 0.1 for high LVRs. And the select suite as well, two year fix, has been reduced by 0.05. Some of the features that you all need to be aware of, 90% including LMI on owner occupied and investment, 5% genuine savings, um, for investment purposes, simple non-resi policies, low dock options, and construction of triplets. Some of the costs, fixed entry costs, quite low, um, $4.99 for the fixed entry costs, which covers the valuation, settlement fee, and solicitor's costs. We also have um, a new email address that you can send any scenarios or inquiries through. It's that am at connectivehomeloans.com.au and there is a team of people, credit advisors, um, waiting to answer all of your scenario questions. Someone will be manning that email all day, every day. No more practice. This is an um, exciting new thing that Murray, uh, our, one of our directors, has started um, or is featured, featuring in. No More Practice is a television show for businesses, a transformation series dedicated to showing wealth professionals how to grow their business and their personal values. Basically like a reality TV show, but for businesses on how, how they are growing and, um, and doing in the marketplace. We've got a little video to show you. And hopefully it works. All right, it's not going to work on this computer. Um, but we will be sending it out after, after the PD day. It's basically just a little promo. 
uh, I think it's the 16th of August that will be showing. We'll, set, we'll be sending out the, the reminders about the show. I think it's on Sky Business from memory. Um, but like I said, watch this space. There'll be more updates on, and things like that about, about the show. PI insurance. We have a group policy um, with, that we offer to all of our members. It's really competitive prices. Um, get in contact with myself or the broker support manager if you'd like more information. Many of you use it already and have been made aware of it, but if you're not using the group PI, I definitely re recommend at least getting a quote. Um, the costs are just cheap as chips. <laughs> Connected TV turns three. Um, all of you will be receiving the Connective TV emails. Basically, all of the updates on what, it, what the lenders have done that week get sent to you every week. Um, Michael Gurner is a little three to five minute video and it keeps you updated without you having to read every single lender email that, come, that gets sent through to you. CPD point from memory as well of watching, of watching this, so Monday morning coffee. Um, sit down for three minutes and, and listen to Michael. Conference. Hope to see you all along at a conference this year in Fiji. Um, Chantal, our events manager, has done a fantastic job with everything that she's done in setting it all up and we've got a lot of fun things, um, not just not just our keynote speakers and, and things like that. We've actually got a cruise that to private islands that people will be able to, to participate in. You'll have a lot of more free time to be able to enjoy um, different things along the conference and, and not, just, not just connective related. 11 CPD points, it's the highest CPD points yet. Um, and obviously the gala dinner and an after party as well with that. So if you do want any more information, there is some on your tables. Um, there is a website as well. Uh, click on the tile in Mercury or simply ask any one of the staff. Fiji fundraisers. We are doing a lot of fundraisers for some of the schools around the area as well. There's with Connective and Macquarie are doing an initiative um, of dollar for dollar value. It's quite simple to, do, to donate. The goal is 15,000 Fijian, Fijian dollars is, is basically what each of the families earn per year who are giving the money to out of the schools of their children that are going, going there. It's $9,000. Basically what the aim of the, of the fundraiser is $61,000 in, in Australian dollars that we're wanting to do. And that's going to provide them with chairs, tables, um, a school desks, undercover walkway so they don't get wet going from classroom to classroom um, and all of those types of things. So events at connective.com.au, you'll be able to get all of the information um, or once again, speak with any one of us. <laughs>